Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Mandy. This is a 12 inch cradled wood board from Lowly Beffy. I'm painting over a swipe that I lit later didn't like so much. And I really need a win because I've had a terrible painting week. So I'm going to try to use my Sherwin Williams color to go stash. So I have some Concord grape. I'm going to use this instead of a black pillow. This, this is going to dry a little darker than it looks here. I'm going to put a little down on my spinner. Um, but this is, it looks very fuchsia-like at first, but I don't think it's going to dry like that. So I am going to put it down just to kind of help this stick. And I was actually inspired by my own video, which I know sounds very self-serving, but I uh, saw something I did a while back and I was like, oh, I really love that one. I still have the room and everything. And so I'm not doing quite the same thing, but something similar. And I'm using up leftover paint today. So I, I made up a new cell activator. Um, so this is the color, Concord Grape. I made up a new cell activator. I'm using Atelier Blue Black. It's been a while since I've used that in a balloon. And um, so yeah, we're gonna see how we do. So I've been slowly but surely making my way through all of the paint in my drawer. And I have um, mostly color art today. I do have one TLP that I discovered that was mixed up in my drawer for a really long time and required um, a lot of work to get it. <clears throat> And enough to use. So I'm going to go ahead and use it up so that we're not wasteful. So um, I was tempted because I'm using so many like pinky purples and I'm using a purple base. I was tempted to add some black, but I decided not to do that. And um, so, <clears throat> so yeah, this, we're doing what we're doing, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and Give it a whirl. This is probably too much pillow paint. I'm also going to use a hair dryer, which I'm a little rusty with using a hair dryer because if you follow my channel, you know I've been trying to blow my plumes out myself. So, you know, just a lot of taking chances today, but I've had a terrible painting week every single time I try to do anything. It's been a complete flop. I don't even know if I'm going to release the video where I did a everything but the kitchen sink swipe. The swipe was okay, it dried horribly. I think there was too much paint on the canvas or something. So I was like, okay, I'm frustrated. So, you know, we all have those times. So if you ever think it's just you, it's not. So let me show you the colors. We're gonna go as we go. The, in the swipe where I did this the first time, I put kind of a violet blue color down and I swirled it around to be part of the background. I don't know how that will look with this background. So this is Constellation. This is the one I resurrected. I'm just gonna use it up on the bottom. And I may swirl it around with a palette knife, I may not, so we'll see. Um, just, uh, I want to use it so in the, kind of the blue-violet color looks nice with the other colors we're going to use. I'm not using the same colors as I used the last time when I did this bloom that inspired me. I think I will swish it around on the, on the surface. Why not, right? So I've got my petal Duma Flunky. So all we're going to do is just go in the middle and go like this. Just kind of spread it around a little bit in the background. I'm not looking for it to be a pillow color. Just want to spread it out. Okay, so that's kind of what I did the last time, but I did it over a black base, so it became almost kind of like a colored pillow. So now I have um, whatever this color is. This is Temptation. This is Color Art, and this is um, a glitz color, so it's semi-opaque. So I'm going to use a little bit of this one. And I have to be careful not to get my paint layer too thick because some of my paints are thick and I'm, I want to make sure that whatever we're doing blows out with the blow dryer, you know what I mean? So, um, unfortunately, there's definitely some bubbles. So, um, so yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. This is, um, Tempted Tulip. I'm tempted to add a bunch of other colors. This is a beautiful pink. So, I have, sorry, I've got to deal with these bubbles. There's too many all in this one spot. I thought if I poured it instead of drizzling it, we would not have such bubbles, but here we are. So, I want to try to put this where we don't have as much color yet because 
Um, oh, I'm making a humongous mess. That's lovely. So I've had this color mixed up for a really long time and it's a beautiful color. And then I'm going to use some Cupid's Crush. So when I did this last time, I used Crimson Lust, which I just finished up using the other day. So this is Cupid's Crush. And this is also from Color Arts. And I'm gonna use some of that. I'm not gonna use it all in one spot because it's kind of thick. And I'm gonna use a fluorescent violet and a gold. And I thought about using that natural scarlet, but I didn't get it out, so I guess I'm not doing that. Um, so this gold is Indian Spice from Color Art. Super pretty. So I'm gonna drizzle it a little bit here, and then I'm gonna put a little bit more toward the top. Mostly just because I wanna make sure I don't get things too thick. And then I'm gonna put a little bit more of this red, the Cupid's Crush. And then we're gonna put some fluorescent violet. This is from Color Art. This is a vivid, intense color. It was a little thick, so I had to thin it down. So it's a great color. And underneath the cell activator, because we're using dark colors, I'm gonna put a little bit of white. Um, my hope is that it will bubble up and give us those nice bubbly white cells. That's my hope. So, um, so if I haven't already told you, there's discount codes in the description box for color art, 20% off. I'm using Australian um, Floetrol in my cell activator. There's a 10% discount for pixel paint designs. If you haven't taken the Gloom class, there's a discount code for Shelly's class below. So lots of fun things. Um, okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more gold and then we're gonna put some white. I hope this is gonna be nice, I'm nervous. The good thing is, except the pillow paint and, it's, and the white paint, all of the paint needed to be used anyway. So, and the board, the boards are expensive, but it was awaiting its new destiny. So for the blowing out of the bloom, I'm gonna use my Baby Liz hair dryer, which I really love, but I, I find with any kind of blowing out blooms, whether you're doing them yourself um, or you're using a dryer, <clears throat> without doing them often, it's really easy to get rusty, so I'm nervous. So this is, I think this is Matisse white. Um, pretty sure. So I'm not gonna use too much, just some in the center and I'm just gonna drizzle it in the other places um, just for some contrast. And oh, that was icky. Put a little bit right there. All right, now with Atelier for cell activator, it is heavy body, so you need a little bit more Floetrol than you would need with um, uh, like Amsterdam or something. And too crazy, like crazy, crazy bubbles. All right, I'm super nervous. All right, so this is the blue black cell activator. See if we get the halo. It might be a little thick still. And also it's been a really long time since I tried to do a big bloom like this. So I do have the halo. The halo, what I mean is like the little fuzzy line around the center. So when I use a hairdryer, what I try to do is gently expand it with my breath and then hit it with the hairdryer. So um, let's see. Okay, I should have been more prepared. Cool. Oh, that's way too high. I don't know how Karen does that on high for her modified blooms. Hold on, for her, you know what I mean. This might be a complete flop, you guys. Is 
part I'm kind of nervous about, but I'm going to have to try to fix that myself. Ooh. So unfortunately, this didn't go real well, so I'm trying to fix it. I have paint all over my shirt. This may be a flop. We may have to do it again. Um, I'm gonna see what develops. Um, but now that I know I have to do low heat, I've, I've seen Karen do her deconstructed blooms and she says uh, cool air high fan, and I thought she used the same hair dryer, so I thought I was being a good student, but apparently that's not what I used to use, <laughs> so okay. Not the greatest composition right there, huh? I don't think anything I'm doing is going to make this better. What I'm, what I'm hoping is that I have enough pillow paint on here that this is gonna spin out. This is really gorgeous. It's just that this, where I came in so crazy with the hairdryer is not. And to get in here and try to change it, I'm getting it all over me. So we're gonna spin it and see, and if not, we're gonna go again. I don't have too much time to be too picky. <sighs> I wanna, it's like I wanna do something with this in hopes that it won't look like that, but unfortunately, I'm pretty sure it's going to look like that. Every time I try to do the swirly cues to help offset some craziness. It rarely looks good when I do it. So let's just spin it and see. Um, and if not, we'll go again. Whoa, there's a lot of paint there, so there's hope. Okay, so this is lovely. This, not so much. So let me see if I um, <clears throat> stare at it for a second. I think if I shift shift it a little bit on the spinner, we might be able to get some of that to go that direction. The only problem is it could also fly off. So, um, but this is quite fabulous over here. So this makes me want to do big blooms more often with the hair dryer so that I can practice my blowing on the smaller ones, practice with the hair dryer and the bigger ones, not get rusty with either, not forget which setting to use. Um, this also is a pretty nice color palette for this crazy pillow. All right, let me think if we can, if we can move it a little bit over. I have this purple pillow all over my shirt. I mean, I'm wearing a pink shirt, but still. So while I'm pondering this, I'm gonna make sure my edges are covered so that I'm not having to make up for that somehow. Um, and I love this one. Wouldn't it be wonderful if this worked out in spite of my faux pas in the beginning? All right, I gotta spin gently because I wanna make sure that's not gonna go flying off. Like, I don't know that I can spin enough to, oh man, you guys. I don't know that I can save this one without pouring over it. Ah, oh, but the colors are amazing. Okay. The only color we're out of is the constellation, which, was on the bottom anyway. So let's see if we keep spinning, if we're gonna get to the edge. It doesn't look like we are. Part of me is tempted to keep it anyway because like 60% of it is so pretty. What is this here? But if we could get that full coverage, that would be awesome. Okay, I don't have a lot of time to be 
goofing off here. Let me give it one more good spin, and if it's not gonna come all the way to the edge, which I doubt seriously, then we're just gonna go again real quick. Oh, I don't know. This is so messy, but like the rest of it is so pretty. Okay, let's just go again. Um, oh, I'm so frustrated, okay. Just, I'm just crying about it, right? So let's put some more pillow down. We don't need a whole lot at this point. Our edges are covered. Right? Oh, bye-bye, pretty. Okay, there's some globbies in the paint. Look at that. Evil. Okay. And, oh, another one. Look at that. How rude. Okay. There's a lot of paint on here. I'm so messy. Oh, my poor little hair dryer. I'm gonna get really, really in it to win it today. Okay, so we're out of the constellation because we used it up. It's okay. I have this acai berry. It's not like a blue violet color. In fact, it's um, this is a prison poor color. So, um. I'll put a little bit of this one in the mix. It'll be very pretty. It's not one that is like in the must be used up pile. It's a fairly new one, but still. It'll give us a purple. Okay, and now we're going to try to remember how we put these colors down. Um, there's so much paint in this middle section kind of concerns me a little bit. Okay, so let me just do what I did before to try to even out some of this paint. Because that actually kind of helps. You should see how much paint I have everywhere, you guys. Okay. <clears throat> and I cannot pause you for bubble popping because I have paint on gloves and everywhere else. So uh, we're going to go ahead and use the rest of this um, temptation color. Okay, so Operation Use Up Paint is growing in success. Now we're going to use some of the red Cupid's Crush. Now this one is pretty thick, so I need to be mindful of that. Not put a huge puddle of it anywhere. Okay, now we're going to use some, uh, where did I put Tempted Tulip? Over here, and use Tempted Tulip. All right. Oh, that was a huge piece of paint there. It's okay, Tempted Tulip. It's very thick, so we'll probably stop with that. And then we're gonna do some of the gold Indian spice. And we'll do some more of the red. Oof. And then we'll do some of the fluorescent violet. Well, it's actually red violet. <clears throat> and then put some white. Kind of want to put more gold on there, but I, I know my tendency to put too much on, and then it's hard to get it to blow out, you know? I'm not missing anything. Put a little white. It was just the right amount of white the last time, just enough to give us those really awesome cells. I might have put too much this time. Okay. Blue black cell activator. Put a giant bubble in the middle. a little bit more than I normally would use because 
the hair dryer kind of throws it all over the place. All right. Uh oh. Right, the rest we gotta do ourselves, but better. Let's clean up a little. <clears throat> makes me so nervous every single time. Okay, I'm gonna let it kind of develop. I'm gonna pop a couple bubbles, and then after I pop them, we're gonna see where we need to help it. Got some pretty decent coverage except for a couple places. And some of that's just because, you know, the hair dryer kind of does what it wants. I do have this hair dryer in my Amazon shop. It's an expensive one, but it's, what I like about it is you have decent power but a small opening and um, it's kind of hard to get both and um, so I bought it with a gift card way back in the day there's also a travel size baby list but I don't have it I know I think Erica Hughes uses one um, I haven't tried it so I can't weigh in on that okay so let me see I gotta hurry up Okay, I think we can make this work. All I need to do, oh, lightheaded, is blow into this a wee bit. I've got so much purple on me, it's not even funny. And then, mm, I'm excited, spin. I have so much stuff everywhere. Okay, and the good thing about Atelier is it'll continue to open up as it expands. You don't have to obsess too much about it at first. Um, oh my gosh, I needed this win. I cannot tell you how badly. Now, I messed up here, but still, we are doing leaps and bounds better than we were. i got to take these gloves off because I am a mess, and I need to be able to get in and get stuff like this globby that unfortunately my tweezers don't tweeze here anymore need to replace them so I just totally messed up the composition right there but let me change to different gloves oh my gosh I needed this so bad this has been the most ferocious painting week now I don't have as much vibrancy because I didn't use as much paint um, but with the color background I think that still works fine so we're gonna spin until we open up that center a little bit make sure we have enough paint off and then I'm gonna bring you down for a close-up and I'm going to say thank you, Jesus, because this has been a terrible painting week for me. And this will be gorgeous under resin. And this base will dry a little darker. Um, so it won't be quite as, you know, Barney purple as it is now. I mean, I like the color. And now I know that these colors look good with it, and so that makes it even better. So let's see if we have enough paint off the canvas because we are painting over a painted canvas so I want to make sure that we're not um, being too willy-nilly with too much paint left on. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy we redid it. I mean, I am covered in paint, but it was a labor of love and I think I'm going to stop spinning because these cells are going to get wonky. So let me wash my hands off. I'll bring you down for a close-up and then I'll make some dinner. Be right back. 
You guys, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. And I thought I was gonna not like this color and I wanted to use it up and now I wanna get more of it because this Sherwin-Williams color looks great with these colors. Okay, anyway, here we are. Here's where I kinda messed up, but it's okay. Um, I love those little cute little cells. It's been a long time since I've done a bloom with Atelier. I do it a lot with swipes. I'm a little nervous about how much is left here. I'm a little nervous it's going to pool and make my cells crooked. So I might spin it <clears throat> one or two more times, but oh my gosh, look at that. So thanks for hanging in there with a the fail first. Let me know what you think. I'm so excited. Let's all pray that it dries nicely. I need the win really bad this week. So yay, thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know you're here, tell me what you think. Um, talk to you soon, bye.